Well, good boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly and animatorsforum.com and Real Illusion Forums. And this morning, um, some somebody on the Real Illusion Forum was um, saying they couldn't get the Sakura 8 uh, figure, which is kind of a toonish figure, into um, Character Creator. As I always say, if you guys have any problem with any uh, character or clothing or prop or whatever it is from Daz, uh, let me know. Um, I'm not saying that I can get everyone in, but so far I've not found uh, a problem that's insurmountable. Um, so anyway, so here's here's Sakura 8. And this is how she comes in. when you uh, And she is a Tudish character. Uh, you can see um, just by her smooth skin and, and um, you know, the uh, tune eyes and face and stuff. So right away, when you load this into Daz, you need to you need to look at some red flags that come up. Remember that that what is happening in Character Creator is that it's going to take this figure and map it to the Character Creator figure. It's going to actually expand this mesh. So... Uh, so you can't have things in this that aren't part of the character creator mesh. So eyelashes are okay. That's no problem. Okay. But as soon as we get into this eyeballs and eye sockets, you got problems. The eyebrows are, are usually not a problem, um, because, um, uh, they come along okay, but definitely, uh, eyeballs and eye sockets are going to be an issue right away. You're going to know that. You're just going to know that. You, you have to start recognizing these things. Uh, if you load in any other character, I'm not going to do it now as it takes a while in my system. Uh, but you'll see, they don't have these parts. And character creator is not going to know what to do with this. So how do we get around this? Uh, there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can just try deleting these out, which I've done. I, I tried that, and that works. If I delete both of these things, then you can import this in. Uh, at that point, you don't have the eyes, so you have to add the character creator eyes, which you can do, and you can move them around and modify them and get them pretty close to what you need. Um, so that's one way of going. That's that's a very straightforward way of going. It, it requires a lot more work to position eyes that look something like this. Um, but I thought I would try I would try to show you another way of doing this, which is you can actually get these eyes in. So the first thing is you don't need the sockets. The sockets, I think, are simply to hide the mesh behind here, but uh, we're, it's not going to work anyway in, in Character Creator, so we're going to delete those right away. So eyeballs. We want to have these eyeballs come over, and the way you do it, you can unparent them, of course, and we've, we've shown you how to do that, unparenting, um, and that's... That's a good first step. That'll that'll actually take them outside of this. But that's not really the full problem. Uh, the real problem is that these eyeballs are another figure. And you might say, Mike, how do I know that? Uh, well, you know that by the way the rigging's set up. You can see that this is this is rigged here. It's not just a prop. See, it's got a hip and it's rigged to this whole uh, structure. So it's uh, if you go up here to edit, go to object. Uh, I'm sorry, go to figure and go to geometry, where is it, da, 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 figure, it's figure, where is the figure, rigging, yeah, there we go, rigging, um, we have this option to convert the figure to a prop, you won't have this option if it's not a figure to begin with, um, so that's what we want to do, we want to convert it to a prop, and make it into a, uh, a prop that will then come in into character creator as a prop, and so then I save it out this way. And that's exactly what I've done. And I don't want to go through the whole process. Uh, but then I bring it in. And this is how it comes in. So you might you might hopefully be saying, Mike, you know, that doesn't really look useful to me. Okay, well, there's a few things we have to do. First thing, we have to go to those eyeballs and go to the texture here. And um, this texture, this is a lens in front of the eye. So that's, you know, so you want to reduce the opacity. To get that, I, I actually don't know why we want lenses in front of eyes at all, but they do to get other, I don't know, reflections and things, I guess. Uh, but you can do that all with the eye texture. So that's a good first step. So now we've got the the eyes um, in there, but you might notice that they're, they're not exactly matched up very well. So you're going to have to play around with uh, the shapes here. As a shape, you can move this shape around. So... Because it's a shape, we go into um, the, the movement. We're going to edit the pivot to make sure the pivot's 
where we can see it. So now it's there. So now because we can we we can have this as an object or a shape, you can actually move these in a little bit. So that uh, that helps a lot. That gets that gets us the eyes actually inside the head. So that's pretty good. That's that's not too bad. Now if we left it like this, which you could do. Um, which you probably would think of doing. Uh, it's it's not going to work, and the reason is if we go to pose, I'll show you. Go to the female pose, and we'll just pick any old pose here. And now we'll go to there. Uh, you'll notice that the eyes uh, didn't 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 go with it. Okay, so that's that's not good. <laughs> so how do we get, how do we fix that? Well, the reason is the eyes really aren't weighted properly to the. To the character yet they're they're not really um, a piece of clothing basically so they're not going to shape with it so the way you do that is to transfer the skin weights it converts them from an accessory to an actual piece of clothing just use the default is fine you might say yeah it might but they really aren't clothing i i know but that's this way they will modify uh and, and move around with that character so now if we do this we'll see that the eye is now now move with the character, okay? Now there's one more issue with large eyes like this. I want to show you this. The um, When you close the eyes, they won't close all the way, okay? That is that is an issue, and um, what you can do with that is you if you have the, um, um, what am I trying to say, the cartoon base that Real Illusion sells, you can drag over the the uh, anima profile and that makes the eyes close a little further and then you can edit that profile and make them close even further than that so uh, that's the way to round that and if anybody wants to see that I'd be glad to do the tutorial on that too but uh, in the meantime that's how you get Sakura 8, uh, eight, eight? yeah Sakura 8 in the character creator and um, there you go talk to you later